welcome back to decoding studio and in this video we are going to discuss how we can provide multi language support inside react native project maybe currently you don't need a multi language support inside your current project but in future might be so it's good to have this multi language inside uh, your react native project again i'm going to use my smurf drill project from my previous videos to show you how we can add a multi language support inside the react native project so before moving forward if you haven't subscribed to this decoding studio channel then kill the subscribe button now so let's get started now I have also written a step by step guide on a medium uh, articles in order to add uh, multi language support inside your project. I'll share link of this article inside the description box as well so you can find it from there. Let's copy these packages and paste it here. Let them install and after that we just need to run uh, npx pod install. So if you are not using npx so you can use a cd ios and pod install as well so let's do that to install the ios uh, dependencies and once it's done then uh, uh, we need to uh, set up a code uh, so basically we need to create some uh, directory so let's uh, use constants and inside that uh, we need to create some folders and uh, there's a file like dcs localize so you can copy the that code from here so let's create first inside src constants so inside constant let's create a file named as dcs localize dot js and after that let's copy this code and paste it here so basically this is the file that is responsible to handle your uh, languages file i will explain it later so now you can see uh, we have uh, uh, this translation folder so let's create one more directory here and inside that we need to create uh, two folder as you can see from here en inside that uh, common.js and index.js file so i'm just going to create first uh, en then i need to create one more folder named as uh, fr so basically uh, we are going to provide support for english and french language so now we need to create uh, one file inside the uh, en index.js same with the uh, one more like common so you can add the multiple files as well and inside same with the french fr we are need to create common.js and index.js file now inside common we need to create a object so let's export it as well export default and uh, uh, let's say hey let's say hey and uh, language selector select language copy this paste it here as well now we need to import our common file over here import then common from from common file and export it as so basically we are creating this index.js file so maybe in future we will have a multiple file for example login sign up so we will add those file over here so our dcs localized file export all the files so do it same do it for uh, 
French language as well. Let's translate uh, these texts quickly. Mm, English to French. And let's say hello. Bonzo. Put it here. Same with select language as well. You can see. Okay. And paste it here. And save it. So now we need to import this DS localized files inside our, uh, you can say app.js. Yeah, here. So maybe entry point where you want to import it. So now we need to create language selector. We are going to create language selector over here on a home screen. So let's open home screen. And first of all, we will create an array of language. As you know, like we are going to use only English and French and we'll have only those languages. This has an object code because we have only two files. So let's say en and fr along with code, we need to have a label. So label will be displayed on this screen. Mm, let's say English. And then second will be French. So for that, we are going to use FR. Let's convert French into French language. So English to French. So it's something like this. Let's copy it and paste it here. Our language array is ready. Now we need to loop through this languages and display all the language over here languages dot map return a component pressable so let's import it from react native so as you can see pressable and here we need to add text text let's say mm, language dot Label. Let's save it and run it. As you can see, so let's give some styling to this pressable. So style mm, margin top ten. Okay. And so now on press on press 8 we need to call a we need to create a function named as mm, set language and we need to pass language dot code here let's quickly create a function called as set language we need to import use translation import. use translation from react iit next so these are the packages we have installed previously use translation right and now use this so from this use translation we will get use translation will return us so we are going to use this i18 n and here we are going to return dot change language and we are going to pass this code so this code is simply this en and fr so let's copy okay so this is here now we need to find a selected language so for that what we need to do we can find it from here const selected which code is equal to so this you know package give us that language like this dot language so you will get selected language so based on that you will display the selected language over here for example select 
nested language. So if language dot code is equal to selected language, so this will be a selected language. Disable to pass selected language over here constants then ts localize okay now based on selected language we will add some styling to this text as well so let's say style if selected language and say um, styles dot sorry styles dot selected text otherwise I'll throw plain text. So let's create those style over here. Mm, selected. Okay, so we have added some uh, packages so we need to run it as well so you need to run uh, just don't forget to uh, close this package as well so open it and as you can see uh, the language is changing now so if we select english so now what we are going to do, uh, we are going to create one more text over here, for example, like this, here. So it will be a, will be a, here. So now what we are going to do, we are going to change this text based on the selected languages. So let's see how we can do that. Again, we are going to use use translation, and it has a you know one more. Uh, variable named as t so by using t we can write our text something like this so instead of this we are going to use t t then bracket start common because common is because we are we have text inside a common so we are going to use this hey text okay so let's say hey common then our text so our text was hey and we have one more uh, text black and we have here uh, one more text we can use that is language selector so we'll write it here and let's save it and you can say here let's make it little let's remove this okay and say it font size 20 28 so now you can see select language so when i'll hit on this Fran uh, french language then it will change accordingly as you can see is change so now you can do it on a login screen as well so let's say we will create one text named as login and say it login copy it and change for english as well so again let's quickly translate login something like this change it here and go to the login screen and instead of login i will say let's say so what we need to do we need to import we need to fetch this copy we need to import 
import it first here and use translation then const t from this translation and again copy this thing over here inside login change it to the login and run it as you can see I have selected French then it's showing in French let me change it to the English all the text are changed here and you can see login text changed over here as well so that's all about how we can um, provide multi-language support inside react native this is all about this video if you like this video kill the like button and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please don't forget to subscribe